Greetings, you giant beavers. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and this is the Crack a Pack on LRRMTG. And today, I am opening this box of collector boosters from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And then I'll open one of the boosters that's inside it, because that would be a very short and boring episode if I didn't. Let me read you the back, though, because someone had too much fun writing this copy. Searching for the best in the West? Lasso up the ultimate bounty and collector boosters, providing any cowpoke with a full posse of shiny prizes. It's just the accents creeping in. Each booster boasts rares and or mythics, traditional foils, full art western lands, and borderless breaking news cards. You could even nab a breaking news card and slick textured foil or score big with a raised foil vault card. I admit that I don't actually know what any of these foil treatments look like or are, but I, I guess I hope we get those. I like the, it looks like leather. I, you can't, it's so shiny, you can't make that out on camera, but it's it looks nice, it looks like leather. All right, I've picked this one. Terrific. Oh good, they have a little Terry part. Delightful. You know, I like to build up to the rares, and these are collated in reverse, so we'll start at the bottom. All cards are traditional foil, unless otherwise mentioned. First up, we have Desperate Bloodseeker. One in a black for a 2 2 vampire with lifelink. When Desperate Bloodseeker enters the battlefield, target player mills two cards. Yeah. With no mammals around, some vampires tried to feed on cactus folk with horrible results for everyone involved. Yeah, that sounds like you wouldn't, as a vampire, I'm not a vampire, but if I were a vampire, that sounds like you would not get, you know, your requisite blood? Sure. Mirage Mesa. Mirage Mesa enters the battlefield tapped. As it enters, choose a color, and it taps to add one mana of the chosen color. And it's a desert that looks like a mesa, but it's actually just a mirage of a mesa. But it is a desert that taps for any color. So, you know, you're going to open some bombs in this format and be like, oh, if only I could splash for that. And with Mirage Mesa, you can. Why am I trying to sell you on the playability of these cards? Next, oh, more, more fixing lands. Conduit Pylons. It's another desert, and it enters tapped. Oh, it doesn't. Hey, all right, I'm sorry. It's another desert, and when it enters the battlefield, you may surveil one. It's not even a may. You surveil one. Cool. It taps for a colorless mana, or for one and tap, add one mana of any color. So it's one of them common filter lands that really only see play in the greediest of draft decks. The newly constructed relays harness the desert sun, bringing power to settlers across the plain. They've got a lot of infrastructure put together in a very short period of time. Oko's been busy. Failed fording is next. You ever try to ford and you fail? Sucks to fail a ford. One in a blue for an instant. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. If you control a desert, surveil one. Yeah, great. That's just a good card that does useful things that you want. Boombox! I beg your pardon? Two mana for an artifact. For six and tap and sacrifice boombox. Destroy up to one target artifact, up to one target creature, and up to one target land. They didn't already use this when they were doing the Transformers cards? I mean, you don't want to sacrifice Soundwave in the same sort of way. Huh. Yeah, all right. An artifact, a creature, and a land? And it's up to, so you don't need all three targets. Also, this is doing crimes. Okay. Yeah. This also looks incredibly... They... It's a wooden box full of explosives that they've put horseshoes on the side of. So those horseshoes are about to be moving very quickly in a lot of different directions. Terrifying. Next, Gold Rush. One in a green for an instant. Create a treasure token. Until end of turn, up to one target creature you control gets plus two, plus two for each treasure you control. Oh, I know some commander games that are about to end very quickly because of this card. Oh no, that's too many treasure tokens. That's fun. Uh, what I like also, flavor-wise, is that it's the rush that you feel, the creature feels so excited that it found all this treasure, that it gets metaphorically so big that it murders all your opponents. At least that's how I'm interpreting it. Frontier Seeker. One in a white for a 2-1 human scout. When Frontier Seeker enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a mount creature card or a planes card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. 
So it's a piker that either goes to find a plains or a creature to ride to the plains. Neat. Okay. It's very narrow in what it can do, but you probably hit. If you don't think you're going to hit in your top five, you maybe don't want the Frontier Seeker. I guess it's, it's still a piker. It's still a 2 1 for 2, so that's probably fine. Next, we have a full art swamp. The full art basics for this set are so cool. I love the way that they're designed with the mana symbols appearing in the landscape. It's very, very cool. Swamp's one of my favorites. The forest is my favorite because the negative space in the cactuses is gorgeous, but this is very cool as well. And now, after the basic, is when we start moving into the extra fancy cards. Let's see what we get. Skewer the Critics. This is the breaking news variant of Skewer the Critics. Maligned thespian stares, hurls daggers at disparaging audience, says the headline in the Prosperity Post. It's a two and a red with spectacle for one, so you can cast it for one if your opponent's already been dealt damage this turn. It deals three damage to any target. Big fan of Skewer the Critics and of this particular border treatment. Border and flavor text. Someone had a lot of fun writing those writing those flavor text descriptions. Oh, and here's another one. This one's in foil, though. So that one's Skewer the Critics is just in, is not foil. This one is, and it's Terminal Agony. Two black, red for a sorcery, destroy target creature with madness for black and a red. Akul disposes of would-be usurper. Sheriff tries to put pieces together. <laughs> Whoever works at the Prosperity Post uh, has quite a sense of humor. Next, we have a foil railway brawler, which I picked up in the draft that we did for our pre-launch showcase. Three green green for a 5-5 five, five rhino warrior. Rhino warrior? Nope. Shouldn't have tried. It's got reach, and it's got trample, and it has plot, and the plot cost is three and a green, so you can get this out a turn sooner. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put X plus one plus one counters on it where X is its power. So if you plot this on turn four, then on turn five, you play this for free and then play your five drop and your five drop gets however many counters on it. That seems real messed up. <laughs> what a cool card. Next, I, this is in the set? Holy moly. I'm recording this before I've seen really any of the cards that are in the set. This is all brand new to me, uh, except for the reprints. And this is a reprint, but it's also just in the set. It's the Archangel of Tithes. This one's not foil, but it is extended art. One white, white, white for a 3-5 flyer. As long as it's untapped, creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. And as long as Archangel of Tithes is attacking, creatures can't block unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. This card has always been pretty sweet. And now it's back again with a dope hat. And one of their strange little uh, plasma caster looking knot guns that they have on this plane. Archangels of Tithes is sweet. Next, Dream Thief's Bandana. Now, either this is a brand new card that's in the Commander decks here, or it's a card from the new Capenna Commander decks, and this is the first time that I'm seeing it. But I think it's brand new for this set. It's a two-mana equipment. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, look at the top card of their library, then exile it face down. For as long as it remains exiled, you may play it, and mana of any type can be spent to cast that spell. And it equips for only one. Oh, it turns any creature into a Thief of Sanity? From Ravnica? It's a blue-black Spectre. Does it do the same thing? Thief of Sanity, one in a... One blue-black. Yeah, 2-2 two, two Flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library. Exile one of them face down, then put the rest in their graveyard for as long as you, that card remains in exile. You may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. All right. And is it cast it, not play it? Yeah, cast it. Okay. So this one you don't get to pick from three. You just get the top card. But if you do hit land, you can play the land. Okay. Neat. This one's also extended art, I should have said. We've got another non-foil breaking news. It's Dust Bowl. It's a land, taps to add colorless, and for three and tap and sack a land, destroy target non-basic land. Dust has no time to settle as new dust arrives. 
that's that's really funny too. For our token, we've got a double-faced uh, treasure and bird. That's a very good bird. And our last one is, oh, it's a new newt. They made a new newt. It's the Archmage's Newt. One and a blue for a 2-2 Salamander Mount. Now, strictly speaking, I don't think taxonomically in our real world that salamanders are newts or that newts are salamanders. They are both amphibians. And I get it. But why not just Archmage's Salamander? I mean, newt is a funnier thing. I don't think they're the same animal, though. You could have just made newt. A subtype. You added the varmint subtype in this set. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. It's a 2-2 with saddle 3. It's basically like crew. Like you have to tap creatures with a total power 3 or greater. And then it is, it just sort of is saddled. It's still a creature, but then it, now it has been saddled. And that's relevant for the other ability. Whenever Archmage's Newt deals combat damage to a player, target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. That card gains flashback zero until end of turn instead if Archmage's Newt is saddled. So if you get three people on top of this salamander, you get to flashback for free. <laughs> I'm not gonna get bogged down in the flavor of this particular one. That's very funny. We're recording this very early, so we can't look up any, you know, like values or anything like that. Uh, and if I was first picking from a collector booster, I would have a tough call here, because the Newt is fun. Railway Brawler seems very powerful. Archangel of Tithe seems very powerful. It's probably the Rhinoceros or the Angel. But also Dust Bowl is incredibly rude if you consider how many deserts might be going around. Uh, I mean, it's it's probably the rhinoceros. I mean, this is me we're talking about, but I think it also just probably should be the rhinoceros. It's the easiest to cast. You can plot it for a, just a single green pip, and our archangel is white, white, white. So, yeah, we're going to take that rhinoceros. That's going to do it for this episode of the Crack Pack. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you enjoy this and everything else that we do, remember that it's brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. This was not sponsored by Wizards, but thank you to them for sending us the stuff so that we could actually open it, because uh, otherwise we wouldn't be able to open it. It's a bit of a tautology, but thank you for it regardless. Until next time, I have been Graham, joined by James on Tech. Matt edits these, Heather gets them online, and all that wonderful stuff. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time on the Cracker Pack.